Hello and welcome to my channel. This is Lisa with Lisa's Faith and Budget Planning Channel. I'm excited to be here today. I am excited to be here with you getting into my favorite video of every month where I see the most progress in everything that I'm doing in my budgeting right here on Mortgage Monday. If you want some inspiration on making decisions on whether you want to make a extra principal only payment to your mortgage, um, this will definitely inspire you. A lot of you have commented on that and either you're planning when you have a mortgage in the future because you want to buy your first home or if you're planning a uh, to accelerate paying off your mortgage now um, that you currently have. This is the breakdown. This is what I see my numbers doing and I love sharing it with you every month. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm excited to have you here. I'm ready to dive into numbers and we're just gonna go ahead and talk about everything. So I have my notebook here. I have a beginning, principal, new balance, and interest paid. Simple version, just a simple breakdown, but we're actually gonna break down the numbers even further. You're gonna see the whole everything that breaks down my mortgage. I thought I would add a little more content to what I typically do. So I'm just gonna bring the new balance from April and put it in May, because that is where we're at right now. That was $245,805.83. That sounded weird when I said that, sorry about that. Um, $245,805.87. That, is the current mortgage balance for April when we made, after we made our payment in April. I'm gonna break this principal balance over. I usually do it on a sticky note, but I have a whole little notepad uh, full of information. We're gonna break down what this number is going to be and how my mortgage broke down this past month. I have my amortization schedule here. I printed this after the first payment. So you can see here, I hand wrote one, and this is when the, original bank that we had our loan through, um, I made one payment on the first um, mortgage payment. My mortgage is 20 months old. It's still an infant. It's still a baby. So um, it's not very old. It is a 30 year mortgage, um, but I want to pay it off in 15 years. So the first three months, I did not make an extra payment. I didn't start doing that until January of 2023. And we're going to see how far that has pushed us into our immunization schedule. Because every time I make a an uh, extra mortgage payment and every month the extra mortgage payment is exactly the same it's $550 so you're gonna see how that $550 has pushed our mortgage all the way out at the end of April to October of 2026 so that is where we left off now we're gonna figure out how far we're moving forward here um, it's either three months or two months or two and a half months. So that is the average of what we um, actually jumped ahead for and I'll show you how I come up with my numbers. So I'm gonna move this to the side and this to the side for just a second. And now we're gonna look at this notepad um, thing that I wrote out for the breakdown of my mortgage. So at the top, you can see my current mortgage payment. This is what comes out of my checking account with my husband that we've had for 25 years together. Um, more than that, actually. Um, this is what we have them take out. Now we're going to total, uh, we're going to do a breakdown with this total and I'll show you exactly where the money goes when they take out $2,522.96 in my mortgage every month. So the principal payment, principal payment that needs to be satisfied by the mortgage that you usually that you would pay in your mortgage payment depending on where you are in your amortization schedule, it's either going to be really small and your interest is going to be really large. And since I'm at the beginning of my mortgage and it's a baby, that's how mine is. Or you're towards the end of your mortgage where your principal payment is very high, but your interest is very low. That's how they get you. That's how they do it. It's it's just how they, they rather have their interest over you paying down your mortgage. I mean, that that's just how it works. So here you can see um, you have a, principal amount, you see it's in the 200s in the first part, and then 1200s in the uh, interest amount, and then this tracks actually the uh, amount of interest that would have been paid and what your balance would be. That is how a mortgage works, and that amortization schedule came directly from the bank. It was a print, uh, they allow you to print those. You can log into your bank account, um, your mortgage account, and 
see all kinds of information on your mortgage. And uh, the calculator I used came from the actual uh, mortgage lender that I'm using right now. And they said um, you can put in a number and try to figure out if you put so much extra every month, how, how would that affect the schedule? And that's how I came up with mine. So principal payment this month was $330.00 and $30 and 78 cents. So even though this would have said, let's see here, for May of 2024, it would have been $285 and 17 cents. Um, it's not because I have paid so much extra, it's bumped that up. So that is beautiful to see. The next thing I have is the interest payment. So this is the actual interest payment that I made and it's gonna be different than the amortization schedule. So um, the amount of interest paid this month was $1,226.98. Now, if I had stayed on the schedule and didn't make any extra payments, my interest in May would have been $2,272.59. So you see that's already dropped. Um, because it's moved forward into the amortization schedule and I'm not paying all that interest. And so it gets recalculated every month based on the extra principal only payment. So um, that just makes a huge difference. Just making that extra payment is so amazing. Now the escrow payment, this is your homeowner's insurance. This is your uh, um, property taxes and um, I think it's just homeowner's insurance and property taxes, right? Anyways, that, this money gets put aside into an escrow and then is divvied out when the time comes to pay those things. I have been told that my um, homeowner's insurance is a little too high. So uh, I will be shopping in the next few months when, uh, well, if I can get my husband to sit down long enough to do this with me and see if we can get our auto and home um, lowered somehow and all the things. So we'll see how that happens. Uh, next few months or so. So the escrow payment this month was $415.20. Now my property taxes are going to change. There is a lot of new construction happening, new um, apartment complexes and homes that are being built and the area is growing a little bit. Not like uh, a big city or a metropolitan, but enough to call uh, to have this small county on the edge of rural uh, farms and stuff to have our property values go up. And I will show you my, uh, my home and the property values. So without giving my address away, um, my Zillow, we originally bought our house, let's see if I can get it on the camera good, 289,000 on August 10th, 2022. Um, side note, that's my wedding anniversary. <laughs> So my husband bought me a house for our anniversary one year. Um, it's just a running joke. It just happened to fall on that date and um, we love it. It's so much fun. But now look at the estimate that they're talking in range um, for our home. In the mid range, it's 339300 And we only paid that, well, we haven't paid it yet, but 289000 is what we paid for um, our home. And our loan was 260,100. So we didn't even finance all of it. We already had came into the home with a, a good deposit, down payment on the house and from the previous sale or the sale of our previous home. And then we fixed it up a little bit with new carpet and appliances. So now that we're here at the mortgage, I know my escrow is going to go up because of property taxes values have gone up and there's just no way around it. So we'll, we'll figure it out as it goes, but just know when you're making mortgage payments, um, depending on if you have a fixed or variable rate, most people do a fixed, it still has to adjust if you're paying your escrow with your mortgage. So that would be what is adjusting, not your actual mortgage if you have a fixed rate, which is what we have. All right, moving on, $550. This is our principal only payment, and it's an extra principal only payment. So you want to make sure when you go into your bank and you want to do an extra payment that you're not sending it all to interest first. Um, sometimes people don't realize you've got to look for the principal only um, 
category and make your payment through that. And that's what we did. So if I take my calculator here and try not to get a glare, there we go. And I total these numbers up 330.78 plus 1226.98 plus 415.20 and 550. That will equal my current mortgage payment. That is the that is how my mortgage is broken down every month. Um, the escrow might change um, depending when they update the escrow. I think mine's updated every six months right now. So I don't know why the county does that, but they do. And uh, it's just where I live. I'm like, okay, whoops, I put an eight instead of a six. There we go. All right, so that is the pay mortgage payment. So now we're gonna go ahead and discover how what my new mortgage balance is. So I don't have that on here. I'm gonna bring my notebook back and we're gonna take, we're gonna take these two numbers, actually. The um, actual principal payment to satisfy the mortgage uh, agreement and then the extra principal only payment. Those combined actually um, is what lowers my mortgage amount. So let's get the notebook and lower that amount. So we know that we have $330.78 plus the $550 and that gave us a principal payment of $880.78. Oh. And as you can see, oops, I got the wrong pen. As you can see, this number keeps getting bigger and this interest number keeps getting smaller. So you know you're saving on your interest when those numbers change like that. It's not a big number, but overall mathematically it is because you're jumping ahead and not paying two or three months of interest that you normally would pay. So you're saving a lot of money on um, interest payments that you could have paid in the future. Now this is not money, this is money in your pocket, but it's not like a refund money in your pocket. It's just money you don't have to pay in the future. And I absolutely love that. So we're gonna take our mortgage pay, our previous mortgage balance, which was $245,805.87. We're subtracting the $880.78, and my new mortgage balance is $244,805.87. Look at that, I went 245 to 244. I mean, that is just a beautiful sight to see. Um, obviously, we're not quite to $1,000 in principle, but we're getting there, we're close. We're at 880, we should be there soon within the next uh, few months, and I am excited to go from three digit principal payments to a four digit principal payment. That's exciting. So the interest, I just like tracking how much interest was actually paid. And I'll show you that on my spreadsheet. Gotta find my number again. It's um, $1,226.98. There we go. So that is the Mortgage Monday, but there's more. So we're gonna look at it from a different um, perspective, I guess, or you know, things I like to track and look at. So now that I know this number, I like to look at my amortization schedule and get a lot of joy out of knowing what it could have been originally if I didn't make any extra payments under the original schedule and where I'm at now and how much I've actually brought the mortgage down. So that is what we're going to do. So I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna write down, I'm gonna subtract the 244, oh, no, that's not what it is. I gotta look at my schedule. I'm gonna go ahead and write this number down over here. So minus the $244,925.09 on where we're at now, and I can move this out of the way. And then I'm gonna look at my schedule here. And see, this is May of 2024, right here in the middle of this yellow. And my mortgage, if I had never made an extra payment, would have been at 200, and fifty-four thousand 
$657.88. Oh, that's scary. Oh my gosh, look at that. That's a big difference here on what the amortization schedule, what it, what, what it says I would have been at if I never made an extra payment and where I'm actually at now. It's just such a big blessing. You'll thank yourself later for this. It would, it, it, it's an amazing, almost a magic trick to me <laughs> to um, be able to do this. So originally 206,100, which is the uh, amount of the loan that we got. I'm subtracting the 254,000, oops, not that, uh, $657, there we go, and 88 cents. If I paid on my mortgage 20 months without anything extra. My mortgage would have only dropped by $5,442.12. That's it. In 20 months, it would have dropped that much. But because I make $550 uh, principal only payments since January of 2023, I've been able to drop it a lot more than that, almost three times as much. So let's see what that number is. 260,000, oops, I'll do that again. 100 minus the $244,925.09. And we, <laughs> look at that beautiful number. Oh my gosh. So that is $15,174.91. That's where I'm at in my mortgage. That's how much I've lowered my mortgage principal amount down for, the, for my loan right now in 20 months. I don't know about you, but that just gets me so excited to see. I just, I love doing this. I love doing, I love sharing this every month. So that that's just a beautiful thing to see. <laughs> Okay, so without extra payments and with extra payments, that is what we're looking at right there. Over 5,000, over 15,000. Not quite three times as much, but 3.7 or 2.73 as much. So, you know, definitely more than double, almost triple that number. So that that's just amazing. Okay, so where are we on the amortization schedule? All right. Let's look at this side right here. I'll move this out of the way. So I need to figure out how far to jump forward. There's November. That's four, 245, 245, and 244. So it's going to be somewhere in between these two numbers here. And this is how I figure it out. So that's December of 26 or January 26. or January 27. Good Lord, I'm already almost to 2027, y'all. Oh my gosh. Okay, so let's take those numbers and figure out where I'm on the schedule and how I'm going to decide uh, what uh, numbers to use as far as how much interest um, I would have paid versus how much interest I have paid. So we're going to do that as well. And I have my little spreadsheet over here for that. So where am I on the amortization schedule? I'm going to turn this just a little bit so I can write a little bit neater. Um, and I'm going to take these numbers. Right, so, so the numbers I'm looking at here are, let's see if I can, there we go. Can you see that? Okay. December of 26, this $245,075.04 and January of 27, 2027, and that's two hundred and forty-four thousand seven hundred forty dollars and sixty-one cents. Which one am I closer to? That is the one I'm going to use um, and highlight for this um, schedule that I'm doing. So the December of 2026 is. And like I said before, $245,075.04. And I'm subtracting my current mortgage of where I am today, which is $244,925.09. And let's do the math. 
All right, so I the math on this says this is of hundred and forty nine dollars and ninety five cent difference um, from where I'm at actually at in my mortgage and what what we're trying to estimate on the schedule here. So December and then January of 2027 and I do this off camera normally but I thought I'd do it on camera with you guys today that number is again two hundred forty four thousand seven hundred and forty dollars and sixty one cents and I'm going to subtract the same number our current mortgage balance now my current mortgage balance is not a payoff amount it is where I'm at right now I am not planning to pay it off anytime soon because I don't have the money for that. But um, when you do make a payoff, uh, there are extra fees that are attached and it depends on what bank and all that. So you don't know what it is until it happens, which is kind of sneaky, but what am I gonna do about it? So let's put this number in. Okay, so I have 184.5. Four, four, eight. I'm just looking for the difference here. I don't really care about positive, negative. I probably should have wrote it the other way around. <laughs> oh gosh. Let me do it the other way around, make sure my number's not right, or my number is right. Yeah, the, the number's same, positive or negative. So um, how about we do this? We'll make this the plus sign and make that the negative sign. <laughs> just like they used to trick us in elementary school. All right, um, so there is a $184.48 difference between the mortgage in January. It's closer to December than it is January. I like to be more conservative, so I'm only going to highlight November and December and put us, um, I know it's over that, but it's not quite into January yet. I'm not close enough. So I am not going to put it towards January yet. That will be next month. So let's go ahead and highlight this. I've got my mod liner and I'm doing November and December. So I jumped to, if I had a way of doing the half, I would do two and a half, but that's okay. That's another time. And I like to write out in the margin, okay, what does this represent? This represents May of 2024. So that's just, look, December of 26. Like we, we finished another year and I'm only in May of 2024. So this has been done. I check off where I'm actually at and then I track over here. So it's just something fun for me to do. Um, it keeps me motivated to protect that $550 every month to um, apply it to the mortgage uh, so we don't apply it to something else or spend it uh, on frivolous things. So I absolutely love that. So now we're going to look at my little printout. This actually tells me my um, numbers on how much I saved in interest. Now I keep all of these, so I love to lay a couple stickers down that are pretty, and I put them in my notebook, so I'm gonna put one right here. I just think she's gorgeous. Um, my stickers come from, let me find my thing here. Uh, this one's from the Spring Vibe Collection, 880 stickers from Planny Thing. She is actually in the Netherlands. Um, I don't know her name, I forgot her name, <laughs> but uh, that's why I order this and she she does amazing stickers. These are high, high quality, amazing stickers. So I like decorating a little bit. And so when I reflect back and look at the pages, there's something pretty popping off the page. Now let's look at the numbers. I, as I had shown you in this one, and this number is the same, this $15,174.91 is the same as, oh, well, I'm off by six cents. I just discovered a mistake. Oh my gosh, you guys are probably yelling at me. I wrote a seven instead of a three when I carried this over. So let's change that to a three and then make this nine a five. Oh my gosh. That's okay. So this is accurate because that's a spreadsheet. <laughs> so <laughs> anyway, um, that actually changes this number to, uh, where's this at? 
So that's a nine, and it's supposed to be uh, nine two five oh five. I used the wrong number and that happens from time to time and I'm glad I had a spreadsheet to help me out with that. So let's redo this number. Oops. Okay, so that was supposed to be 95. Yes, okay, so the number matches. <laughs> In my sloppy handwriting, the numbers match. So uh, $15,174.95, and disregard my error there, I fixed it, but that was, that's where we're at now. That's how much principal payments I have made since October of 2022, which was the first payment to the mortgage, and I'm just so thrilled with that. Now the actual interest paid so far in 20 months is $25,000. $330.25. I went to the amortization schedule. Hopefully I used the same right number. <laughs> Let's see if I made the mistake here. Um, so I take this number, and this is how I have to figure it out because my first payment was with a different mortgage company. I had to write it in up here. So I kind of carry this number on every page so I can remember to add it to the interest. Um, so this number does not actually have that um, added into that total. So we're going to start with this, $1,298.33, plus this highlighted part, which is what I'm estimating, not to the penny, but estimating um, where I'm at in the mortgage and how much interest I saved and all that stuff. So that plus the $63,122.40. There we go. And is that the same number I put here? 20, yes, it is. So now that I know how much I would have paid in interest if I paid up to December of 26, where I'm at on the amortization schedule, and I subtract the actual interest I've paid up until that point, because that's where the balance of my mortgage is, um, I have saved 39000 $90.55 approximately on um, interest payments. I've saved more in interest payments than I have actually paid in interest payments. This is money I don't have to pay the bank. This is money that they will never get because I've jumped so far ahead in my mortgage and I love, it, it feels like you're beating the system when you do this. So I love this. I think this is great. I, I just, I can't rave more than that. I mean, it's just a beautiful sight to see when you know in the future you're not paying this interest over the next 30 years. So that is my Mortgage Monday. I think it went semi-smooth. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it and got some value out of it and it made sense to you and all those things. And I want to set up my stuff for a thumbnail <laughs> picture. There we go. It's all kind of messy. So, uh, but yeah, I don't think I'll leave that in there. That is my Mortgage Monday. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more of my videos, please subscribe to the channel and I will see you guys next time. Have an amazing and blessed day. Bye. As a young girl, it feels we're mine. We played hide and seek for hours, raised our shadows among the pines. So offshore, playful and free, without a